queen. <laughs>、Many、queenies. So today is Vlogtober day 29, I believe. Yes, it's day 29. Absolutely crazy. This Vlogtober flew by so fast. And by the way, I'm running out of space on both of my freaking、um, memory cards. So I definitely need to clear them out because I have two and they're really big. And I just, yeah. But, anyways, so I'm gonna be brushing my hair with my new Pocahontas brush as you guys seen in yesterday's vlog. And by the way, I still need to edit yesterday's vlog. You know what? I really like this brush.、Um, I tried a wet brush before and I didn't like it because I have really thick hair. And I was like, it's not going through my whole hair. But I don't know. I like this one. Is it just the power Pocahontas? I have no idea. But,、um, yes. I plan on leaving in like a few minutes, but I need to eat something. But I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and join the Mini Queenie family. And yeah, so today's gonna be a good day, y'all. I do have a math、um, quiz today, so pray for your girl to do the best she can in this class.、Um, so I'm gonna be going to study for that. Two hours before the class with some of my classmates. Alright, y'all, I cleaned my room. I came back from school. I let Gordo in. Hey, Gordo. I just pray that he doesn't like pee or make a mess or fart, which are three things he's very known for doing. But now I'm just gonna take a break and watch the Wendy show, then start editing yesterday's vlog. He thinks there's something in there, but there's not. <laughs> He's just sticking his snout. I don't let him have water inside the house because he literally makes such a big mess with water. Like he'll spill it, he'll、um, put his paws in it, like make the floor all muddy and dirty. I'm like, no, 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 no. So, Mickey, there's not water in there. So, yeah, I'm just gonna eat. Hopefully, they don't beg. I'm gonna sit on my bed. If you guys didn't know, my bed's like really tall, so they can't possibly get on the bed. Neither one of them. But, aw, Gordo! He's the family dog. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I finished editing, and now it's 4 42. I took a quick, quick, quick nap. I was supposed to leave here at 4 21, so I took like a 20 minute nap because I'm exhausted. But I need to go study for my math exam, my math quiz, sorry, my math quiz.、I、need to go study for that in the vet center. I think it's really cool being a friend with a vet because they're really nice and,、um, and the vet center is pretty cool. Like today I ran out of water, and you always need water when you're gonna go sing. And they gave me a free water bottle, and it was very nice. So I'm gonna go to the vet center. Hopefully, they have snacks because I haven't ate I haven't a t e dinner yet. So, yeah. Made it to school. Go into the vet center. It's over there. Ooh. So, I made myself some vegan mac and cheese. By the way, I'm back from my class and、um, I just wanted to show you guys this. So,、um, this is the Annie's vegan mac and cheese, and she named she that was her bunny. It says, Bernie was Annie's pet Dutch rabbit. When she started the company, Annie chose him to be our official rabbit of approval, representing the simplicity, care, and goodness in all of our products. And I find this so, so cute. And this is my first time having vegan mac and cheese. As a child, mac and cheese was my favorite thing to eat. So we're gonna have like a little vegan, I guess, talking mukbang. We're gonna see if I like it. I'm scared. Mmm, I like it. I think I should have put more soy milk though. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, that was good. 
Mm. All right. As you guys know, I stopped eating cheese. I'm trying to transition into being a vegan. The only thing I've cut out officially is cheese. Like here and there, like I don't drink milk, but here and there, milk will be in things that I eat. Do you know what I mean? When I go to restaurants. So I can't say that I completely took out milk, but I have completely took out cheese from my diet. All types of cheese. So while I eat, I wanted to answer some fun Disney questions. The first Disney tag question, and I want you guys to think about your favorite Disney, whatever the answer is to the question. Mm. And comment below if you guys would like. First question, favorite animal, as in Disney animal. This one's very hard because I love, love, love Pua. I have a crap ton of Puas, but I also love Eeyore, so. And I also love Miko. Eeyore is my favorite, but I guess Pua because I love pigs and I would love to have him as a pet. Favorite character. I think my favorite character is Eeyore. Favorite classic. My favorite classic is Donald Duck. Favorite hero. Hmm. And it has to be Disney, obviously. So I would, normally I would say Wonder Woman because I love Wonder Woman, but she's not even part of this. But I guess Spider-Man because he's really funny and like relatable and I love his powers. Favorite favorite heroine, heroine. I think Pocahontas is considered a heroine instead of a princess. So I'm gonna go with Pocahontas on that one. Favorite kiss. I love two kisses. I love when John Smith and Kit and John Smith and Pocahontas kiss and then like all of the leaves and the spirits like surround them and it's so beautiful. But I also love when um Ariel and Prince Eric kiss when they're in the water. Mm, so cute. But since Pocahontas is my favorite, I guess I'll just go with her. Favorite love song. Um oh the up song Married Life. That's me and my boyfriend's like song, I guess. Well, we have an actual song, but I guess our Disney song would be that song. And that one's my favorite love song because it makes me think of my, my boyfriend. Favorite Pixar film. This one is really, really hard because there's a lot of good movies. Once again, please comment below or at least think about your favorite Pixar movie. I guess it would be Up. If I can own any of them, I would want Up. But there's a lot of good Pixar movies, so. Okay, favorite princess. Since Pocahontas is technically not a princess, like I said, she's my favorite heroine. But my favorite princess, I think, would be Jasmine, just because she's so independent and knows what she wants. And I just love her, and she's so gorgeous. Favorite quote. That's really hard, because I know like all the movies by heart, but let me think of a Pocahontas one. I like, let the spirits and the earth guide you. I like um, that she's really in tune with the earth and the spirits and I feel like if you're really in tune with that, that can really help you and guide you throughout your life. So I'm going to go with that quote. Favorite prince? Um, I think honestly like Prince Eric, he's so cute and he's so sweet and the fact that he fell in love with Ariel just by her voice and the way she looks, I'm like, like, obviously, like, looks is not everything, but I just thought it was so cute, like, love at first sight. And sorry, my dog is begging, because I have food. Prince Eric. But I do think, like, Prince Naveen's, like, the cutest. Favorite sequel. I really, really loved, and I'm, I'm probably not thinking clearly, because there's so many good sequels, but I really loved um, Little Mermaid's sequel of um, when she has a daughter, I think it's called um, Return to the Sea. I think that's what it's called. But she has a daughter and that was my favorite sequel when I was little. And I haven't watched it in so long, but that was like my favorite. I would fucking have that on like replay. Favorite theme attraction. I really love the Haunted Mansion. I feel like that's my favorite. Haunted Mansion Holiday. 
If it's not the holiday, it would definitely be Space Mountain. And then my favorite theme park would definitely be Disneyland over DCA. Favorite theme park show is Paint the Night. I love Paint the Night. Um, <clears throat> that's the parade, actually. I guess it's considered a show. Favorite villain? I think Maleficent's like the coolest villain. I would think like Maleficent or Ursula. I'm gonna go with Maleficent. By the way, Sleeping Beauty was my favorite princess before Pocahontas. And I know Pocahontas is technically not a princess, but y'all know what I mean. Favorite villain song? I think it's Poor Unfortunate Souls. I always sing it every time um, we get to that part of the like ride. So it's probably that one. Least favorite Pixar film? Oh my gosh, I forgot about Coco. I'm telling you guys, there's too many good Pixar films. Okay, you guys cannot hate me. Oh my gosh, Ratatouille. I forgot about Ratatouille. I love Ratatouille. Oh my goodness. Damn. Mickey, stop. Okay, so all of them are freaking iconic as heck. So I'm gonna go with the newest Toy Story. I didn't really care for that one. So yeah, I'm gonna just go with that one. Do you hear my dog? He's crying. Um, <laughs> favorite psych sidekick so um i my favorite sidekick is hands down miko he's my favorite he's funny he's relatable he acts just like my dog so favorite song that's really hard but i think colors of the wind everything about pocahontas like i love so <clears throat> least favorite song um let it go i really don't like that song. Movie that makes you cry. I feel like all Disney movies make me cry. Pocahontas makes you cry. Um, Finding Nemo makes me cry. Coco makes me cry. Every single movie makes me cry. But the first one that came to mind was Up, because I like feel that immensely. I don't. I don't ever want to leave my my boyfriend, and that just makes me really sad to think about that. Movie that makes you laugh. You guys, this vegan mac and cheese is fucking bomb. Excuse my language, I'm so sorry. Um, I think Coco makes me laugh. Like, Dante is super, super funny. Um, yeah. Overrated movie. Probably Frozen. Saddest death. I don't want to say Ali. Because although that was sad, I answered up a lot. I think Mufasa. That was pretty traumatizing and it was really sad seeing Simba left all alone. If there's another sad death, please let me know. I can't think of another one. My favorite movie is Pocahontas. And I think the saddest scene... I think it's when she goes... Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I think it's when she goes to say goodbye to John Smith because he's about to be killed by her father. Um... And she wishes she never met him because this would have never happened. And he says he would rather die than to live a thousand years without knowing her or something like that. And I'm like, <laughs> but like that was sad as hell. So I would think that scene was pretty sad. Underrated Disney movie, Pocahontas. Nobody even knows who Pocahontas is. Or if they do, they never actually seen the movie. Don't know the songs. There's no merch of Pocahontas. Most underrated movie ever. And I do know that the movie is controversial and they didn't do it right, right? They didn't like, whatever, you know what I mean? But for me, I take the message out of it. Like the message that the story brings is so powerful. And she's such a good role model. She's so strong and just watch the movie. I love her. She's my role model. I definitely look up to Pocahontas. And um, yeah, so very underrated movie. Like, <clears throat> I wish more people liked it. But anyways, I'm full, y'all. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this year's Disney tag. Um, 
this vegan mac and cheese was a bomb you guys definitely need to try it go cruelty free try to go vegan if you can um well, all you guys can it's just a choice but um yes and i i wish it so good today was a good day y'all i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog be sure to like comment and subscribe and join the mini queenie family mm -hmm. Okay.